Uh, can you ask to write a script for monitoring the file system and if it exceeds 30%, uh, it should trigger an email or something like that. All right, so let's try that. important to get that right in your example the typo there yeah <laughs> all right let's see what happens here now we're going off script we'll see if the ai is upset it doesn't know our script so i guess it doesn't okay so all right that's good we're like defining stuff in the beginning i like it the threshold yeah uh, there's my email all right so df Let's just copy and paste this. Path to your file system. That's not checking everything on the system. That's checking a specific path. And let's see here. Slash. So that's looking at my percent used. All right, so let's see what this guy does. Because it's trying to flip it, I think, to because it gets the percent used, and I think it's trying to calculate it back to like the percent free. All right, so GF slash. Dollar FS usage for mine was from the previous, right? 19. Sorry, I was busy replying to something. <laughs> Percent. Oh, I don't have BC installed. And it may come from another RPM. We'll see. No, that's good. All right, let's try one more time. All right, and it doesn't like 19%. So why don't we do 19? Okay, so that comes back to a zero. All right, so I think it's me like copying and pasting and not having all the data that's causing it to do that. But here what it's doing is it's copying my free space percent and try it's taking the used percentage and then transforming it to free space percent. And then here it says if the free space percent is less than threshold, which was 30. Yep. Yeah. So definitely it gave us a like, oh, and here's your cron tab entry, Nate. And I think that's because we use the words to monitor, right? That it decided to make it a cron job. So mm -hmm. while it doesn't do the exact file system, maybe I need to change it to all file systems. In any file system connected to the machine. And what we're looking for with this change is that it moves from like a specific directory to more like a DF-A or something like that. Yeah, right here, FS list, right? So it's getting all of the file system output from DF and then kind of looping over it and doing all the things. So yeah, there you go. Problem solved. Cool.